Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 67 of our Raja of the Raja Patrack achievement run in Europa in Resource 4. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we've still been mostly uh, focusing towards West, uh, finishing westernization, westernization. We're already up to mostly, like, n almost 90%. So, in this episode, we're hopefully gonna... <coughs> oh, cough is back. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> hopefully, it's... Yeah, we're gonna be able to finish the westernization. Also, in the previous episode we managed to westernize, not westernize, vesselize Malabar, and we're currently working towards uh, vesselizing Bukhara as well, because apparently they got wrecked by s some someone, like Yark and, and Chagatai both. I think so, they're down to like three provinces and they're now willing to become my vassal, just need to improve relations with them a little bit more, and they have t tons of cores, which I could totally use. In my uh, in my wars. Also, between the recordings, I've noticed that a lot of people got westerners, and I did not notice that because of my pop-ups. Uh, yeah, I only have filters for Janpur and Multan, and that's stupid. Let's go and deselect all. Get best guess. Oh yeah, that's totally a lot better. Let's hope that from now on we're gonna receive a lot more pop-ups. But yeah, the Beriston managed to westernize. I don't know how. Kara managed to westernize, I have no idea how. <coughs> Who else in here? The rest are still mostly the same, but yeah, these two people are kind of annoying because I would need to fight with them. Kara is still on level 16 military, even though they're western, I don't know how it's possible. But the person is at 20, so it's gonna be slightly harder to fight them, but oh well. And yeah, let's just unpause the game, let's see if anything gonna change. Also yeah, we've been the... <laughs> We've been, we've been observing Spain gets wrecked by friends, who is now apparently the in the personal union under Tus uh, Tuscany. Probably some weird inheritance happened, and that's quite strange. So Spain no longer considers Commonwealth as a rival. Spain have said Tuscany is a rival. Yeah, that's not a surprise. Tuscany forced you to release Aragon, Galicia, and Leon. Uh, Chagata have said Molten is a rival. Cool. And Arisa wants military access. No, that's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, now we could get, get to speed 4, I guess. Nothing much happens. So, we're improving Russian space Bukhara. Gonna set uh, or send them a request to become my uh, muscle as soon as it's gonna be available I get, at 190. Opinion. Uh, mission is 10 plus 1, but technology cost plus 5. For everything? Oh. No. And heresy in my. or heresy in my Mayana. Or my mana. Hmm. I don't want technology cost. For 10 years. No. That's totally not acceptable. Because I'm gonna finish with transition in 2 years. So. Local unrest. Text modifier. Local. Yeah. That's fine. This province is crap, right? Yeah. Only development. Screw them. Uh, also talking about development and, and points. We need to spend some military points somewhere. Because when we're gonna finish with transition, we're gonna lose couple. So how about... We're gonna spend some of these military points on, like, development. Uh, I have not been using uh, development map mode at all. So I have no idea how... How to actually use it properly. Hmm. Actually, yeah, it's, it's in, in the new patch uh, where you could, like, uh, set these things in order. And there I'm not gonna be able... Okay, it's set by the cost. I guess it's fine. Let's go and... Kalpi, Raipur. Yeah, let's go and like spend down to like seven, seven hundred and some. Drylands, drylands. Send one more. I think it should be enough for now. Should improve our manpower a little bit and just in general. Uh, development in these provinces. <clears throat> lose admin or lose westernization? No. Losing any points for westernization. Uh, okay, so. We have one and a half year. Our income is awesome. How's our bots actually looking? We should have... No, we actually have... Uh, uh, have, have built up to our force limit, okay? Oh, what's happening here? Ethiopian... Uh, could I... Somehow set this uh, messages to be 
on full screen like. Hmm. No, okay, that's fine as well. Rivalries, except peace. Oh, Ethiopia and Oman. Ethiopia have a set peace with Oman. Oman will renounce their claims on Bosasa. Cool. Oman is getting wrecked. Oh, Kara, what is this rebels? Just some more pretenders. You've been struggling with rebels for like all the time you've been westernizing. That's quite strange. Also, should I been should I be building up to my force limit some more? Because I've built up couple more of these uh, regimental camps, and I probably could like plop down one more. Right? Yeah, so let's go and do it somewhere. Does it really matter where I'm gonna do this? Probably not. Let's go and plop it down like here. Somewhere with low development. Maybe. I don't know which thing is better. But yeah. Uh, I think I should build up this and uh, another one stack, right? Benin will transfer trade power to Spain. Who is Benin? Western and Catholic. What? Oh, in here. Okay. Mm no, oh, so you're probably planning on westernizing him or uh, this word. You're probably trying to vassalize him. That's what I'm uh, planning to say. Okay, we have like <coughs> excuse me, uh, nine more available slots for troops. So it's gonna build up infantry for you. One, two, three, four, five. And then gonna start uh, looking on whatever else we need. It would help with vesselizing some more people and just in general give us some more power. It's not a terrible idea, right? So after finishing westernization, what we're gonna do? Probably take Tiberistan. Tiberistan is currently only allied with Shagat and Shirwan. Shirwan does not matter. Talking about Shirwan, she might also consider uh, becoming my vassal at some point. So yeah, Tiberistan. Or Shirvan and Chagatai. Shirvan doesn't matter, and Chagatai is still a nomad and at only level 19 military, so that's quite nice. Which level is Tactics 19? So we're not gonna have a Tactics advantage, but we're still gonna be a lot more powerful. Prestige or Legitimacy? Oh, both of these actually quite sucks, but I guess we're gonna lose Prestige for now. Okay, so infantry is done in here. That's nice. So, Westernization finishing in like November of 93rd, right? September 93rd. So, we're less than one year away. That's nice. We're gonna be able to take all the freaking technologies. Actually, we don't, we don't have much admin power, unfortunately. But we're gonna lose this Indian thing. So, the admin technology gonna be quite freaking cheap. We're gonna be uh, able to level up it, level it up quite easier. Uh, what's happened with Malabar? Our royal merchant. Okay. Westernization or local unrest in Garwal? Oh, yeah. No losing points. So now we need four cavalry. I think we still have. Yeah, we actually have exactly four. Malabar cancelled military access. Uh, excuse me. Malbar, what are you doing? Actually, you're my vassal already. <laughs> I almost thought that you're trying to uh, jump on some other side, but no. So, yeah, let's just, just go and build up four cavalry for you, and that's gonna be it for our available force limit for now. How's missions looking? Proof legitimacy. Get to 100? Nope. Say fresh put people in Mewat. Mewat is in here. I don't think you're gonna be taking Janpur anytime soon. Yeah, royal marriage with you is fine. You're already my vassal. Janpur, haven't you managed to westernize? You haven't. But you're... You're managing to keep up on level 21 of military even without that. Which is quite... Quite surprising. What else happened in Europe? So yeah, after this westernization we would need to start heavily pushing towards the European... European lands. Because... We are already getting lo or like, or we already have like 150 years left, and it's not that much considering how much lands we need to conquer. I hope I'm gonna be able to succeed. Also, how's our 
Rivals looking. Our Rivals is quite crap right now, right? Janpur and Mink. Oh yeah, considering that Janpur is our rival, it might be reasonable to attack him at some point. He's allied with Chagatai. But he's still quite powerful. Surprisingly. What kind of troops do you have? Janpur. Mm, where can you be? J. Janpur. 55,000, 6 in um, manpower. And I have my. Oh, I actually have like twice as many troops as you. But I still have this alliance with Chagatai. We have completed westernization. Yay! Cool. Mint no longer considers me as a rival. Yeah, not surprising. You're now like a primitive. Cool. Finally, the transition is finished, so what's our cap on military? Yeah, it's it's a thousand, so that's nice that I spend these military points. Probably a little bit too many, but still fine. Okay, so now we could invest into all these technologies and probably should do it right away, right? Uh, so military, yes please. Diplo, yes please. Admin, please, please, please. 135 points only. We need to start advancing towards uh, admin quite heavily, at least towards the next idea group. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, we have a new troop type. Who is that? Mortars. Cool. Uh, Tango started to become westernized. Probably to from me, yeah, right away. And Janpur no longer considers Nagaura's arrival. Okay. I've. Mm, could I change my rivalry? Yeah, Janpur is no longer a valid rival for me, as well as Mink, and as well as you're not having any Western arms trade. But now we have all of these people as our possible rivals. Commonwealth, no thanks. Crimea, no thanks. Spain, maybe. Bahmanis. What about Tabaristan or Kara? They're Western after all. <clears throat> okay, I guess the one is gonna be Bahmanis because I don't really have much choice. Actually, if I want to have choice like that, I'm gonna have Bahmanis, Spain, and not Crimea for sure, because we're like best buddies, at least temporary. Uh, talking about being best buddies, I probably should improve relations with you a little bit. Also, with Ottomans, might be maybe as well. But first of all, Crimea. And... And, and, and... Yeah, if only the... If only available guy is Commonwealth, I guess I'm gonna embargo or uh, rival you just for the points. So, we have costly embargoes on Mink. Let's gonna stop it. We probably also have costly embargo on Janpur. Yeah. We're gonna stop it as well, and then, are, then just gonna embargo all the other people. And then we'll see, probably just detect the Barristan. Again, mercantilism or... Yeah, mercantilism uh, sounds like a great idea, even though our legitimacy gonna be dropped quite heavily, but oh well. Some more uh, income from trade is totally valuable, totally worth it. Okay, there is our embargoes now. Bahmanis, you need to be embargoed. Uh, next one guy is Spain. Spain is feeling domineering towards me, really. Spain, you got wrecked. Don't you even... Don't even. Uh, okay, embargo on you, embargo on you. And... Commonwealth. It would take me a long time to send a diplomat here. Our role match with Crimea ended. I hope you're gonna resend it. Because it's quite useful. Yeah. But we're actually gonna board... Uh, we already border in Crimea, so... We would need to attack them at some point. And it's already quite close, but... Oh, well. Uh, eclipsed Mink and Eclipsed Janpur. I'm actually receiving extra points for that. Cool. Um... Okay, now I don't really uh, care about technology, do I? Actually, I quite... I kind of do. So you could you could do your stupid heresies if you want. So, okay. War target for me. 
The Beristan, you have Chagatai and Shirvan. What about troops? Mm. Where is that? The Beristan. You have 17,000 troops. That's nothing. Chagatai? You have what? You have 48. That's something. Mm hmm. But I still have more than both of you combined, so. Shouldn't be too scary, right? Also, what about our allies? Any of them would be willing to join? Also, we could now v uh, vassalize Bukhara. So let's go and do it right away. Uh, I have no diplomat to send. Yeah, let's take the one from Bukhara, actually. Just to free... The, uh, just to free up the diplomat. Nice. You're now my vassal. Why are you still feeling threatened? It's probably gonna change next month. Yeah. Nice. So... Actually, now that we have Bukhara, we might consider taking Yarkand. Yarkand is allied with Mongolia. Mongolia is far away. Uh, actually, how many cores Bukhara have on you? Not quite a few, actually, and even a couple of claims. No, I still want to attack Tiberistan. And, Bukhara, you actually have cores on Chagatai as well. So, have, having Chagatai in this war would be useful. The only problem is, I can't really call religion to you, because you're gonna call in a little bit too many people. I don't want Commonwealth to be a part of that, for sure. And taking uh, provinces from you not co it's gonna be a little bit painful, but we'll see. So, okay, let's start rallying our troops towards the Beristan borders. One, two... Do we really have only three stacks? Mm, probably. Three and this, yeah. That's pretty much, pretty much the entire of our army. Do not have any rebellions, that's great. Also, let's go and send one of the one of the diplomats to improve with the Ottomans. And yeah, I have not checked who's gonna join on my side in this war if anyone would. Both of these guys are willing to join. That's nice. Even the Ottomans is kind of in debt. And they're still at war with Croatia. I don't know why they keep going if Croatia is fully sieged. And they have 85% war score. Hmm. What if? I were to actually co religion Chagatai. No, I don't want to fight with Janpur, and I don't want to crush Ottomans and Crimea on co Commonwealth, do I? Probably not yet. So, let's wait for these guys to move. Any new missions? Incorporate Buka Bukhara, conquer Valanado. Nah, I don't think so. Also, extra money. Need to spend on something. Let's build what? Uh, more regimental camps? Or more manpower? Actually, only have 78. Yeah, we, we could use some more manpower, I guess. Let's go try to find something with decent boost, if there's anything available. Not really. What about training field? Yeah, training field is looking a lot more appealing. I can hear. And in here. Should be enough for now. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to declare war in this episode because it's actually coming to an end. But at least we managed to westernize, and we also could invest into another one admin idea, I guess. Yeah, and I probably, or admin tech rather, probably gonna do this. Production efficiency should bust boost up our income from production quite a lot. And considering I'm not gonna be taking any Provinces in the future war. I'm just gonna be returning course to Persia. I don't really need much admin uh, admin points right now. So how much of a boost up we're gonna get? Uh, it's probably got updated right as I clicked, right? I probably have not noticed. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Our income is quite solid, and the next uh, technology is actually a new idea group. Which sounds sweet. Also, this fortune stack could be also somewhere around here, just in case. It would be also nice if Chagatai 
were to be involved in some other war, just so he's not gonna be a part of this war, just because... Just because he's annoying. Oh! Crimea have problem with Muscovite separatists. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Kara, your relatives, Bahmanis, Shirvan. Might attack Kara at some point as well. Mm, but yeah, it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys, so I guess I'm gonna do this, and in the next episode, we're probably just gonna attack the Beristan. And probably use Ottomans as well for that. Oh, okay, Ottomans finished their war with Croatia. Just fully annexed it. Mm, not really surprised, so that's nice. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would answer you as they could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.